hey guys welcome back to another video hope you all are doing good so if your bluetooth is not working on your windows 11 laptop or desktop in this video we are going to fix this issue and in this video i will share 15 best fix you can try to fix bluetooth related issues on your windows 11 so let's start the video make sure your bluetooth is turned on so for this you have to click on this windows icon after that click on this settings option Now on the left side click on this option Bluetooth and devices. After that on the right side you will see this option devices click on it. And now here make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. This is your first step make sure your Bluetooth is on. Move on to the next step. You have to check the airplane mode. So click on this option at the right side corner click here. And after that make sure your airplane mode is disabled. So if your airplane mode is enabled just click on it to turn off the airplane mode the next thing you can do is unpair and repair bluetooth devices so open settings again so open settings after that go to this bluetooth and devices option after that go to this devices option and here you will see uh, the devices which are connected or pair with your laptop for example this is my speaker which is paired with my laptop so you have to just remove it after that repair your bluetooth device now move on to the next step open windows services so click on this search icon and after that you have to type service you will see this result services click on it so these are the windows services i have in my system now you have to search for few Bluetooth services. I will show you. So the first one will be a Bluetooth audio gateway service. Right click on this service, then go to properties. After that, in the startup type, you have to select automatic, then click on apply, then click on OK. Then again, right click on it and then restart this service. Now move on to the next service bluetooth support service right click on it go to properties make sure the startup type will be automatic okay then again right click on it and then restart this service click on yes so this will restart this service the next service will be bluetooth user service right click on it go to properties do not change anything just stop this service then click on start to run this service again that's it click on ok cut this window now check if you are still getting the same issue move on to the next step check the bluetooth driver so right click on this windows icon then click on this option device manager so these are the drivers i have in my system so you have to search for your bluetooth driver this is the driver i have so first you have to update your bluetooth driver from here so right click on it then click on update driver then click on search automatically then click on close so this will update your bluetooth driver so you have to update all the bluetooth drivers right click on it then click on update okay so you have to update all the drivers one by one after that cut this window and restart your system one more important thing you have to check is make sure your bluetooth driver is enabled in device manager i will show you how to check so right click on this windows icon then click on this option device manager again now in this bluetooth column if your bluetooth driver is disabled like this i will show you so if your bluetooth driver is disabled like this so you have to enable this driver so right click on it then click on enable device so this will enable your bluetooth driver in device manager now move on to the next step run system file checker so for this you have to click on this search icon and now here type cmd you will see this kind of option command prompt right click on it then click on run as administrator you will see this kind of window so this is command prompt now here you have to type a command sfc space slash scan now 
So this command will repair corrupted system files. Press enter. And this process will take around 10 to 15 minutes to complete. So this will repair all the corrupted system files. As you can see, the process, the verification process has been started. After completing this verification process, you just need to cut this window and restart your system. Now move on to the next step if you are still getting the same issue. So in the next step, we are going to reset our network settings. So for this, you have to click on this windows icon. After that, click on settings. Now on the left side, click on network and internet. After that, on the right side, scroll down and then click on this option, advanced network settings, click on it. Then scroll down and here you have to go for this option, network reset, click on it. Now in this network reset option, you have to just need to click on this option reset now. So this will reset your network settings. So click on it and after that restart your system. And in the most cases, this will also fix your Bluetooth related issues. Now move on to the next step, perform a system restore. So for this, you have to click on this search icon. After that, type control panel and you will see this kind of result control panel. Click on it. Now here, if you see uh, this kind of options, just go to this view by section and select large icon. Now click on this recovery option. And here you will see this option open system restore. Click on it. Click on next. So these are the restore points I have in my system. You can see the date and time. So you can select any restore point. Okay, the latest uh, restore point you have, select the latest restore point, then click on next. So this will restore your system to the back date and this will fix the Bluetooth related issues. But if you are still getting the same issue or you don't have any restore point, move on to the next step. You can try check Bluetooth power management settings. So for this, right click on this windows icon, then click on device manager. Now you have to right click on the Bluetooth driver. So this is my uh, Bluetooth adapter. So you have to right click on this a uh, Bluetooth adapter option. Then go to properties. Now here you will see this last tab power management. Now you have to untick this option. Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. So you have to untick this option, then click on OK, then click on cut this window. Now move on to the next step, disable fast startup. So again, click on this search box, then go to control panel. Click on this option, power options. On the left side, click on this option, choose what the power button does, click on it. So in my laptop, I don't have this option, but if you see the option like turn on fast startup, you just need to untick that option and then click on save changes. And after that, restart your system. Now move on to the next step. Again, open command prompt. So click on this search box and after that type CMD, then right click on command prompt, then click on run as administrator. Now you have to type a command to stop all Bluetooth services. So the command will be type this command, then press enter, click on yes, press enter. So this will stop all the windows, uh, all the Bluetooth services. Now you have to start the Bluetooth service again. So type this command. Press enter and this will start the Bluetooth services. That's it. Cut this window and restart your system and check. Now move on to the next step. If you are still getting the same issue, again, open device manager. So open device manager. Now click on this Bluetooth. So this is the Bluetooth adapter I have. Right click on it. Then click on this option, uninstall device. Then tick this option. And after that, click on uninstall. So this will completely uninstall your Bluetooth driver from your system. So click on uninstall and after that, restart your system. So when you restart your system, this will automatically reinstall your Bluetooth driver again. So you can try this method as well. Now move on to the next step. Click on this windows icon, then click on settings. 
After that, on the left side, click on Windows Update. Now on the right side, click on this option, Advanced Option. Now click on this option, Optional Updates, click on it. And here you can see one driver is available for update, click here. So if your Bluetooth driver is available for update, just take that option, then click on Download and Install. So you can update your Bluetooth driver from here if the latest driver is available. The final thing you can do is download and install your Bluetooth driver from your laptop manufacturer website. So these are the few things you can do if your Bluetooth is not working on Windows 11. This is all for the video. Thank you.